6th of February in the Divisadero. Uh, you would probably remember her from a number of works that she did, uh, New Waterfront Girl being uh, um, a smash success for her. Nice to see you. Thank you for coming by the studio. Thank you for having me. It's a real pleasure. I'm sorry you had to follow all this food. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <Walk in laughs> Look, so, Uncle so Betty's so Diner. I want to go there. You gotta go I want to go there for a Breckwich. Yeah, you know, <laughs> a plain dressed in donuts stuffed with egg and cheese. I love how they combine donuts with eggs. Like yeah, a legitimate sandwich. It's all home, uh, a home comfort, com home cooked comfort food is what it is. Mm -hmm. But well, mi mixed together, yes. Now, as I was reading over your your biography, I I, I, I was shocked at one point, and uh, it frightened me to see that you majored in journalism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not, not because Why you, you majored it. Well, because because I thought, oh my God, she, she's going to know what a farce this show is. She's going to have to see right through it all. No, no, no. It's such an honor to be on CFRB 1010. I've yeah. been listening to this program since like the age of five. My parents always had this on in the car. Yeah, well, you, you grew up in uh, North York, right? Yeah. Where did you go to high school? I went to Lawrence Park Collegiate, and then for one semester, I went to Northview at Bathurst and Finch. Why one semester? You get bounced oh. in the other place? <laughs> no, I actually started working in film. I think I left Lawrence to shoot my first film that you mentioned, New Waterford Girl, and uh, I shot it in October, and then I was able to finish up high school in one semester at Northview, because mm. they were semestered and Lawrence wasn't. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Uh, you, what, what did you, did you sort of catch the acting bug? Did, did you realize, was this one something that you wanted to do from a young age? Um, <clears throat> I'd always enjoyed acting in high school, I did high school plays, but I never thought of pursuing it professionally. It actually happened to me accidentally in a way, my career. Uh, Julia Sereni, one of the producers of New Waterford Girl, my first film, mm -hmm. is a neighbor of my aunt and uncle, and she asked me to audition for New Waterford Girl, knowing that I studied drama in high school, but I never really had professional aspirations. And I went into the audition, and I thought I was really bad, but I get kept getting called back seven times until I got the part, and that's how I started. Wow, so you just kind of fell into it. Yeah, but I always wanted to be a journalist, which is why I went to journalism school for Now, what would you have done when you say you want to be a journalist? Were you, did you want to be a writer, reporter? Yeah, I, I, yeah writer, reporter, pr probably broadcast, actually. All of the above. Television, radio? Uh, radio, I used to have a radio show, like 10, actually, 12 years ago. It was Canada's first online radio station. Um, Iceberg Media. It was called Too Cool for Radio dot com, and I had a music show with my friend Jan. Well, cool. Really fun. That is cool. You see, well, you, can, you know, but the one thing about radio is you can you re a you don't really need any uh, experience. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really need any education. <laughs> you don't really need anything to be honest with you. You just kind of do it. But it's something that you can always do later on. With John Tory, who of course uh, was almost a mayor here of Toronto, he was. In politics for years and years, and they said, remember saying him saying to me, you know, one of the things I'd like to do is I like to, I like to go work on radio, and sure enough, here he is, and he does the afternoon show here at the radio station. He does a tremendous job. It's one of those gigs a lot of people will kind of think that, uh, yeah, well, that'd be interesting because it is an interesting job because it's in this kind of radio, as opposed to more than music radio. Not that there's mm -hmm. anything against music radio, but. Because you meet all kinds of different people. Yeah, it's like having conversations with people yeah, all well, day long. One minute you're talking to a, a, a wonderful actress, and and you know, next thing you know, you're interviewing a donut, <laughs> <laughs> or a guy who sells donuts anyway. Uh, you, you were on um, one of my favorite shows on television today, NCIS Los Angeles. Oh, mm hmm. I don't know if I saw that episode or not. Um, just tell me about it. That was, I think, it was a season premiere of last season. I played an agent who left the field to just be a wife and mother. She left that life behind, but then her child gets abducted, and in order what kind of agent like a I was in NCIS NCI. op, and uh, then my child gets abducted by uh, a villain from my past, and I decide to go back into the field to save my child. It's actually really really interesting to learn about uh, about battle and gunfire and how well, there's a shootout in my episode and I'm, stuff I never knew about. It's really, really interesting. It's a great cast. It's a great cast. They're so, so nice to work with too, everybody on that show. And the director, Kate Woods, of that episode was amazing. Yeah, that was really a privilege to work and, on that. And uh, uh, who is it? What's her name? Hetty? On, on oh yeah, show? I didn't work with her. Um, my character never met her character, but I love uh, that character. she's great. She's great. She's such a great actress and she's got such like a great presence. And she's like four feet three or something, yeah. right? Yeah. 
Yeah. She's tiny. And what's the name of the, the, the two guys? Was it LL Cool? Is that? Uh, yeah, LL Cool J is on the show. Boy, is he ever built like a brick? You know what? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's wow. He's uh, he's fit. Yeah, fit. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's a house. Yeah, uh, he he was really nice too. Uh, there's some kind of joke about I think my ex husband's name originally in one of the scripts. It was Vodka. But it sounded like vodka every time they said his name, so they had to change his name to something that didn't sound like vodka every time we said his name. <laughs> Maybe your ex husband vodka. <laughs> On the rocks or straight up? Uh, tell me about uh, the uh, Divisadero that you were starring in at Theatre Pasmarai. Divisadero is a play that's based on the novel Divisadero by Michael Ondaatje, mm -hmm. and uh, it's not your typical play. Uh, I like to think of it as an interactive book uh, where different characters from the story emerge and disappear and it's really really about celebrating I think the language of the story and involving the audience's imagination in creating the narrative with the cast if that makes any sense. Um, I'm sort of. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a family that lives on a farm in California and a horrible tragedy that rips them apart and what happens in the aftermath. Okay. That's a plot. Comedy. Yeah, it's a, it's a light comedy. <laughs> it's a chick flick. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's let's talk about uh, you. You work with some amazing, amazing talent uh, over the years. Uh, uh, Dustin Hoffman, Emma Thompson. Mm-hmm. She was incredible. Yeah, she's incredible. Do you say actor? Do you say actress? Uh, I say both, actor, actress. Because I often get to get into this conversation, and and uh, I, I said I, I mentioned act tour one one day as opposed to actress and uh, a, a guy sent me an email a man sent me an email and it was vicious because you said because actor? I said actor I'd instead say of actress, actress. Um, because I've heard women refer to themselves as actor not actress mm hmm I don't have a, a personal opinion on that one yeah well I didn't think it was a big deal either but this guy sent me this email it was it was vicious it was scary it was, he was that, upset it was really what upset. was his point he said, um, let me see if I can put this without having to hit the, free, the dump button here. Uh, he said his niece was an actress. And she said the only way she could, become, could be an actor is if she grew up here. Hmm. I don't think it really matters that much. There's so many more important things to spend your time getting upset about. Well, I know. That's what I But it was really hostile. Huh. Now I'm waiting for him to email me back and say, by the way, my, my niece is now an actor. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You never know. Uh, Diane, uh, Leanne Balaban is my guest in studio. We're going to come back and we'll chat some more. 12.45 right now at News Talk 1010. Let's take a look at Time Saver Traffic. Oh, we've got some new problems. Yeah,